I'm really glad to have partnered with Dime on today's video because they allowed me to learn the fact that July 24th is International Self-Care Day. I think that's amazing. I didn't know that existed. There's never been a time in my life that self-care hasn't been more important. It seems like the more kids that we have, the more intentional I have to be about carving out time for self-care. And one of the best ways I know to do that is to just establish a skincare routine for myself. And the products that I've been using lately have been from Dime and I've been loving them. They are very reasonably priced. They're vegan, cruelty-free. Always check with your doctor before starting any kind of new product. I've been breastfeeding or pregnant for the longest time and I'm so happy to have found an eyelash boost serum that is actually safe for breastfeeding. So I've been using that and noticing some amazing results on my eyelashes. And then I also use the Works bundle, which now is the complete bundle with added sunscreen. So you can look at the difference between those. But the favorite products that I have are the cleanser, which I just keep in our shower. And then I use the Dewy Day Cream, and that is what I use in the morning. At night, I have the Restorative Night Cream. I also love that it's eco-friendly, so their packaging is made out of glass. But since it's nighttime, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You basically, or what I do is I use the cleanser in the morning and then the dewy day cream. And then I use the cleanser at night and use the restorative night cream. You can also use their hyper glow, which you use on your face and neck. So you use three to five drops on your face and neck. And that has antioxidants to just brighten up your skin. So I like using that as well. And I use that below the moisturizer. All of their products feel really high quality and you can tell that they focus on what's important, which is like the skin hydration aspect of the product and not the scent. So it doesn't have really a scent at all, which I actually enjoy. In addition to the amazing skincare products that they have, and then also the Boost Bundle, which is a power couple of an eyelash boosting serum and an eyebrow enhancing gel. Um, so they have that packaged together in a bundle just for convenience. They also have a few different scents. I have the Lovely Dreams Perfume by Dime. And I'm extremely picky about, oh my gosh, I'm extremely picky about my scent that I wear. I've been wearing the same perfume for years. And this is the only one that I would choose over the scent that I've been wearing for years. If you're looking for a new skincare line or if you're looking to just have some self-care and start a skincare routine, definitely check out Dime. I'm gonna put their link in the description box below. You can also get 20% off using the code BRADANRACH20. So link in the description box, check them out, and show yourself some love. Welcome back to the Brad and Rach vlog. You know what's funny? What? The other day, uh, we had the retirement party yeah. for your parents. Yeah. And your cousin was like, yeah, we, uh, we carted around the course and we knew which house was yours by all the toys that were outside <laughs> and she didn't mean it like you know being mad or anything yeah not in a bad way right it was just she a just fact. yeah she said it was easy to spot your house because of all the toys you have outside i always feel bad because like the mowers will hear the mowers in the morning and we'll both be like crap we forgot to bring in like baseball bat or whatever right so i think they've just stopped mowing this area no they mowed it oh did they? Uh, yeah two days ago actually oh. yeah i think it was on instagram that i don't remember if we had already moved in here or if it was when we were just working on this place but they were like do you feel bad for your neighbors since like the kids are always so loud <laughs> <laughs> it was before we moved in uh yeah actually we do I say that quite often, like, you know, like right before bed, sometimes, like if they're tired, they get kind of loud and cranky. Yeah. Um, and so I'll literally say, hey, this wall right here, we share with our neighbors, we need to keep our voices down. Yeah. Not that it works. No. <laughs> but the, it was like, a lot of the noises that they make are happy screams. Like that's just kids. Um, and so there's not a whole lot we can do about that. We're not going to deter them from being like happy children. Right. And by saying that, it's like you're saying that people with kids shouldn't live in a duplex or shouldn't live in a townhome or shouldn't live in a villa. Or a condo or an apartment even. Right. Exactly. Because they're, they're a nuisance to the neighbors. But Right. Yeah. So that's... people with families <laughs> should only have single family homes. Right. I mean, 
Children are definitely noisy. That's just a part of life. That's part of living in a world with other people. <laughs> it's just, you're gonna experience noisiness. But, right. but with that being said, I can't wait to get the heck out of here. <laughs> we also, I mean, we try to teach them to be respectful, like when, when it's appropriate to be loud and when it's not appropriate to be loud. Um, it was like, I think it was Busy Toddler, where she said before they go into some place like a library, she'll be like, when we go in, listen to the, listen to how quiet it is in there, and we have to try to match that quiet. Ooh, that's good. It is good. But yeah, it's, it's tricky when they're that young. They don't, they just don't understand. Living in this villa has been, I think, even better than I imagined. Like, I really enjoy the floor plan. Don't you? Oh, I think the floor plan's perfect. And I really love the location. Uh, being, well, really close to Rachel's parents, oh. really close to the pool, really close to the clubhouse, and on the golf course. The location, like being in this neighborhood, not like the location. Other than being on the golf course, I hate the location. <laughs> like that's <laughs> no, what... No, no. Yeah, like we're on a busy street. We literally can't use the front yard. Right. And we have neighbors sharing walls. Oh my so God. we came down from our... <laughs> upper patio to come down to our lower patio and we also have two cats so Rio and Iris are out a lot luckily like our neighbor who just so happens to be out is out and then we have, we have a pool down here so that's fun we'll just prop the camera up on this car you are gonna hear the fan in the background so that's what that is if if you're not new around here then you know that we've had a very frustrating time with built, like trying to build a new house. It's like the worst time to be wanting to build a new home. Yeah, it was. Or buying a new home. It's yeah. It stinks that we're at a a time in our life where we like we're ready, you know, financially, and our family's done, and we're ready to build our dream home. And it's basically impossible to build around here right now. I'm, yeah. I'm sure that's the same way everywhere in the United States right now. It's not only like there's delays with getting crews and workers and all that, but there's delays with even getting on board with a construction company. And like, arguably, yes, we've already been in talks with one for the past year, but you've seen how much we've accomplished in a year. Yeah, so it's literally been over one calendar year when we first got the, uh, the ball rolling and we are no further ahead today than we were back then. It's awful. So... That begs the question, do we even build? Right. Like since then we've had sort of like a mind frame shift and I think we've talked about that a little bit before, but like the, I think really taking on this project and doing a lot of the reno ourselves made me realize like we're going to be paying a lot of money for somebody to do a lot of things that we could do. Exactly. Yeah, there's not really a project that I don't feel like Rachel's dad, myself, her brother-in-law, and then our buddy Kevin, there's not really anything that we can't take on and do ourselves. You know, like concrete work and stuff, we would have to contract out, but other than that. So with that being said, I think we could just buy a fixer-upper again. Yeah, it's just a matter of finding one in our neighborhood, like in a location that we would want to be. The, the frustrating part is that we have these three lots that are in an ideal location, beautiful views, back of a cul-de-sac, absolutely perfect, and like, I want my house there. But building a house there is not looking like it's going to be possible in the next two years, really. Right, so maybe we build our retirement house there. Yeah, maybe we just hang on to those lots and then eventually... Yeah, luckily the, That's lo true. the lots were cheap, so we don't have a lot of money invested in those lots. Yeah. So we can just hold on to them. Right. And that's the cool thing about, you know, selling two houses like we've done. Mid-Missouri is actually really low cost of living. And you can get a really nice house for not that expensive. And so we could almost pay off a house just with the earnings from selling our first house and then flipping this this house so I mean it's possible if we don't build that we wouldn't have a mortgage right it's just a matter 
of finding the right house. And so how awesome would that be? So awesome. I would <laughs> really love to be at a place where, you know, we work because we want to and not because we have to. Having five kids. We look retired. Look at us sitting here in our rocking chairs. I know, right? Hey, June bag. But ha having five kids. Uh oh, uh -oh. your tablet died. But if I'm being really picky, I would like for us to be like a golf cart ride away from my parents. Or even a walk away from my parents. And I don't know if we're going to find a house. It, it limits us to our subdivision of our neighborhood. And there's just nothing on the market, first of all. So, I don't know. Well, for right now. I mean, yeah, we could stay in this villa looking. for another year. Yeah. And see what the market does. Yeah. Well... I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah. So. But we're not in a rush to make any decisions, I guess, which is helpful. Right, exactly. So. Luckily, we're happy where we're at. Yeah. But. I think since there's no clear answers, then the answer is just to, like, hang tight. Right, leave it out. Yep. We'll see what the market does. All right, well, we'll keep posting.